Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cobex Masters. Where we're watching the final between Reload Gaming and Go Figure. We've made it all the way to map two now. Map one just ended. We played train and Go Figure came out on top 16, eight the scoreline, made it now to map two, and it's cash. We haven't seen either of this team on cash, I don't think. Neither of them played it yesterday. But this is gonna be a completely new experience for us. We can't, we can't speak of past experience. So whether they're good on T side or CT side, it's uh, entirely up to them. Um, some teams actually are really good on T side, uh, on T side, and some are very good CT side. Consider the uh, cash is more of a T side map, by the way. Uh, it's one of those rare, one of those rare maps where T side's actually um, at a bit of an advantage. Hold on, this round just got a lot more intense than I expected. Because it's Rossi versus Rossi Ace. It's the, the double gangers. Oh, <laughs> Rossi Ace wins. I'm a bit confident with that bunny hopping he was doing there. This is where communication coordination comes in, right? This is <clears throat> this is where the in game leader could say, uh, for example, uh, Shifu would say, Lucia, you throw that, uh, I don't know, A main smoke. Uh, Mamma Mia, can you throw a garage smoke? And so on. Uh, yeah. It's not just calling for the smoke, it's calling for who will throw the smoke. It's it's more about um, having to actually pop flash for each other and actually throwing mm -hmm. molotovs without having to constantly call out people's names either. So it's it's more of um, coordination than actually calling and execute. So if they're if they're not really practiced together as a team, then they're um, e even though they might have the executes, you wouldn't have the coordination. So anyway, it looks like they're just going to play mostly control. Uh, try to see if they can get something out of it. There's the smoke. Oh, oh nice Walking shot. off cross Rossi Ace starts things off with the sick USPS headshot onto Forest. He's hiding an MBK now, but Fulgore doesn't want to come out of Squeaky just yet, but he does. And he finds a USPS headshot waiting for him. He knew he was there, supposedly. I mean, he did just shoot Forest a while a second ago. So he should have looked towards him, but anyway, completely, um, I guess you can call that a clean sweep. Not a single, not a single mm -hmm. person lost on the CT side. Yeah. So all that armor that they have, some people will be able to buy head armor without spending more than uh, 650. Just like Rossi and Lucia just oh, 350, did. 350, sorry. Like Rossi, Ace and Lucia just did. Look at that, M4s on round two with head armor. This is... This is kind of scary. Yeah, Shifu again going for that CZ. But I guess it's fine. I mean, he could he could have gone maybe for an MP7, really. Like, you could use that for your advantage. But uh, Terrace is just going to rush through your barrel through. Ooh, through this is a quick air round, it seems, and skills with the FAMAS. Oh my god, four kills for skills. There's Was that an ace? No, it's just a 4k. That fifth kill got stolen by Rossi Ace, but oh my god, skills and Rossi Ace. They defended Ace Light like champions there. Worth noting that even though they, uh, well, as skills clearly root on the floor, that was actually not an eco. No. Uh, that was a force buy. They had armor, they had everything. So, although they rushed like it was an eco, uh, they kind of wasted their their armor and weaponry. They, they could have actually tried to work with those weapons better and, and the fact that they fully bought everything at the time. So they rushed in on a, on a full force buy and, and they basically lost the round very quickly there. And Lucia, now that, he actually they, they're doing the opposite. Door. They're doing something opposite now. They're playing slow with an eco and they're playing fast with a force buy. Which is it's very interesting. Which yeah, it's very awkward for Milo Gaming. It's, that's not what you usually do. No. And they're paying the price for it because they're dying one by one. This four is getting dropped as well. Firestorm, however, manages to get a headshot onto Lucia. That's one kill. But Amamiya shuts him down with that M4. Rossi is trying to make his way towards the bomb. Maybe he can pick up a gun here. But Mamamiya has his crosshairs trained on him. He knows he's coming from B main. And there they go, rushing him together. There's the kill. Mamamiya grabs it for himself. And just like that. Go figure up 3 0. And I think I am there, but uh, didn't get much out of it otherwise. And uh, Reload Gaming, again, as I was saying, they don't seem to have that much coordination as a team. At least not that I've seen so far. Uh, and see, they push everywhere. They they do push, but they don't get anything out of it because they're not actually 
you know, they're going out as chickens together, but they're supposed to be going out as a team where they're actually one looks to left, one looks to right, try to pop flash before going in, not just rushing in. It's not just about holding W, it's about trying to actually um, try to get an entry as well. So now that they have the full force spy, and uh, not full force spy, the full buy. Full buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can work with these AKs. And Shifu are actually going for an off this time. So the no bank more has bank. become the upper. Yeah, no more bank for him, Shifu says. He wants a piece of this action. He gets himself that up. But in mind, skills still with that from us from that second round. So he's got a lot of money in the bank. But this boost from Go Figure might just catch Reload Gaming off guard. People don't usually check that. Blitz and Forest might be in trouble. Look at that. Rossi's still all the way back in T spawn. I don't quite understand what he's doing back there. But Reload Gaming, they are running out of time. There's the door being open. Blitz finally lands that shot onto Rossi. That was so awkward. They couldn't land anything for a while. There's the smoke cross coming out. Skills with the Vamas makes it work. But that kill onto Forblor. That's a good molly as well. He's going to deny the plan for now, at least from Reload Gaming. Skills down to 3 HP. He's super low. He's going to try and hide inside the smoke. Scary thing to do, my friend. But there's backup already from Go Figure. There you see Mamma Mia and Lucia. They're cleaning it up. Reload Gaming, it all fell apart. It was going so well, but it fell apart completely. Skills held on for too long. And backup arrived. Go Figure. Win the round 4-0. And that was, that was a, one hell of a round. But yeah, there we go. Match has been unpaused. Real gaming, as you said, with that force, it's it's dangerous. If if they don't get this, go figure. Going to build a huge lead, and on a map like Cash, it feels like it feels very very bad to be losing that hard on the T side. You shouldn't, not normally anyway. And now now they have the advantage coming in this because if they can get the streak going that even if the even if they the reload gaming gets the loss bonus it's not going to bother them that much as long as they can combine a few rounds and um have an advantage coming to the t side if they can at least get the next three rounds they've already uh won the the map basically uh four rounds actually i should say we go reload gaming again with their eyes on that a side i don't think they've gone b any single time uh, so far this game here skills he finds firestorm literally just standing there skills could pick up that kill easily but blitz trades it back with that tz that's a, a decent headshot reload gaming can plant the bomb now rossi ace he wants to come over and help he does get digged however he gets one kill not working together but blitz finishes him off go figure they're going in one by one finally they're going in together now here's blitz hoping to make his way towards forklift uh, hoping is to make his way out of forklift sorry you see Mamma Mia gets that kill onto Forest. Does he not check sight? Oh my what? god, Shifu. He's still in quad Rossi. He's right behind him and they don't know. Finally, Lucia turns around and finally they take care of him. But my god, go figure. That, that awesome. almost, they almost lost this. The curse of the CZ is when you run out of bullets on that clip. He just literally stared at Shifu with um, with a CZ with no ammo, and then Shifu just basically no scoped him from very close range. He was basically point blank. Uh, yeah, but very awkward down and as well. Rossi tried to retake by himself, if you noticed. I mean, he yeah he got he got some damage, went back, and then he immediately got shot by a guy from forklift, and he was just reloading, jumping in his position. If if he had someone next to him, they would have been able to kill the guy because he was missing all his bullets anyway. He would have been able to kill the guy in forklift trying to shoot Rossi while he's reloading. But uh, no matter, they still win the round. They just, it was just very clumsy, really. Well, it is a 5 0 scoreline now for Go Figure. They're in a very, very comfortable spot. Reload Gaming under pressure to finally get a point on the board. Mike, could this be it? It seems like they're going towards that B site this time. You see, one guy already made it all the way to checkers. That's Ford Blur Blitz. So that's things off with a headshot onto Rossi Ace. There's two people still on side from Go Figure. That's Lucia and Mamma Mia. It's a good Molly. And Mamma Mia is already down to 70 HP, apparently. Ooh, Shifu Mamma Mia gets two kills. One onto Rossi, one onto Forbler. But not before Blitz find Lucia. Mamma Mia is still alive! Oh my god, how do they not see him? That's they took full advantage of that smoke, really. And Shifu, 
Finally doing honesty his weight in gold. Um in the previous map she was always just standing there with a with the CZ and now keep in mind as well he's been getting a decent amount of kills with only having a pistol all game in the previous game. So he does seem like a very capable op at no no a very capable player. And I feel like they uh, making him a bank alone just basically really weakens himself as a player and weakens the defense as well. So having him up as well, you look, you can see that's really strengthening and uh, their basically their defense. But look at his gap though, very bad. Oh, he's he what? How did he not see that? Here. Oh wow! Oh wow! That was, he should have uh... been able to see the legs yeah, through that gap of the smoke there. The smoke wasn't really thrown that well, but skills managed to boost Rossi up there. Rossi Ace is in a good spot. He's going to be able to mow down anyone who comes out of A main. He's forced. He opened up Squeaky Door. Oh, I think Firestorm knows. Firestorm knows. He definitely knows. He knows Rossi Ace is boosted up there. Maybe he did see the legs, but decided not to shoot. But we'll probably figure out that he did go up there. Ooh, four blower. That's a good start with that kill on to Mama Mia. Firestorm, he still knows that Rossi Ace is up there. There we go. He peeks him and he wins that fight. Rossi Ace goes down. Chief, however, gets a kill on to Blitz. Skills keeps it going with one onto Rossi, but Forrest responds with a kill of his own near Shifu with the AWP. Jumping up in the air, Firestorm. Finds him, shoots him out of the sky. It's just Lucia left versus two people. Two of them are actually, the both of them are actually kind of low. Lucia, he could hope to make this happen, but he gets fully flashed there. He has to wait for that flash to time. Ah, <laughs> the timing. The timing is so unfortunate. Forrest wins that first round for Rito Gaming. 6-1. Maybe there's hope. Just maybe. Maybe. But now they lost their loss bonus as well. So... They need to make this round work. If they don't, then they're going to get fully reset and GoFigure can actually run away with this. But also keep in mind that GoFigure did lose so uh, a lot of weapons over the rounds, even with that six round. Fine splits with the AWP. Forblo responds with a kill onto Lucia, however. And here we go, Reload Gaming. This might be a good round for them. Shifu from heaven. He can't find anyone with the AWP. He does hear footsteps on site though. But he's not looking there. He wasn't looking. He was looking the other way. And Forward lands the headshot. Here's Firestorm getting one as well. Finally, Skills responds with a kill of his own. But he's all alone versus three people. I don't think Skills can do this. He might just choose to save his M4 armor and kit. But they won't let him. I think Relo Gaming. They know they can't allow him to save this. Firestorm finds the kill. Skills was looking the other way. That's an easy pickup for Firestorm. And Relo Gaming grab their second point of the game. Maybe this is the path for Reload Gaming to get back into the game. Go figure. As you can see, economy not looking that good. CZ's coming out. Shifu, surprisingly enough, a P250 this time instead of the CZ he's used to. Yeah, something new. Something strange. He likes uh, surprising us every now and then. Ooh, that's a good flash from Forbler. Sometimes he plays an MP7, so... Doesn't always use a pistol. But at least this game he's been choosing to use an AWP. I would consider an AWP much better than both a CZ or a MP7 any day. But yeah, so even though they won six rounds in a row, just losing two in a row, they completely broke. And now they had to eco this round just so they can uh, try to force buy something next round. Forblor just missed Lucia there. Here's Rossi Ace, he was hoping to help his teammate, but in the end it was just a death warrant for both of them. As they both go down, Mamma Mia dies on the other side of the map. And that's 6-3 for Reload Gaming, but... Go figure, oh wow, they still don't have them... Well, they do! I, I told you, they're gonna force buy, because... Uh, not They don't have enough money for utility, because uh, they lost two rounds in a row, and that wasn't enough for them to try to uh, build up that loss bonus. So all they could do is maybe buy, uh, yeah, Famas and stuff like that. But what I find weird is that Shifu Pascal, it seems like he's going fully scoped weapons this round, this game generally. 
And uh, I'm I'm personally surprised from him uh, specifically because at this point I figured at least uh, he'd buy his usual CZ that he's been doing every single game uh, since yesterday. It feels like a repeat of yesterday. Go figure. They won uh, their first map. They played second map with a bit less focus. They weren't really concentrating. The, their play was very messy. And they lost map two, but they made it back in map three. And it feels like this time it's happening again. Go figure. They have that one point advantage. And they're playing all over the place. Here's Mamma Mia getting blitzed, but Rossi trades it back. It's a three on three now for Reload Gaming. Shifu gets dropped as well by Forrest. Skills at tree. Here's Rossi Ace, however, coming from A main or B main. Uh, sorry, that's a good flash somehow. Oh, the nade! Yes, he gets the kill onto four floor. It's just Rossi left versus two people. Skills cleans it up and go figure. Managed to win this round, but it was a lot closer than it needed to be. Yeah, definitely much closer than it needed to be, but uh, at least they managed to make it work. And they did it very, with a very lackluster buy. So now, now that they're finally getting a few rounds of both, but they still don't have enough money to really buy uh, that decent equipment. While well, Reload Gaming, since they won three, round, three rounds in a row, they have enough money to buy full AKs again. They could have bought Ops if they need to, but they're just going to stick with those AKs. Go figure, currently lead 7-3. But as you can tell, the economy isn't perfect. You see Mamma Mia with that MP7, Shifu being the bank first team with that CZ. Real Gaming, on the other hand, have those five AKs. They have a lot of utility to work with. Rossi Ace is going through the smoke. Lucky him, there was no one there. No one's watching a from Real Gaming. They just smoked it. They didn't even smoke it. That was the CT smoking it. Yeah. Then they're pushed up as well, so it looks like they're gonna try to go towards B. Definitely seems like a, a B. The main call push. is in though. Look, the CTs they're all wrapped mm -hmm. in around to B now. So rotation, and Rossi Ace is about to flank them. He's gonna catch Blitz off guard. There we go. That's the first kill of the round. Mamma Mia with the MP7 gets two. That's four blown fires from dying. By the way, that's the MP7 versus AKs. Rossi Ace. He's. Positioned up at useless here. He's denying them a rotate, Rossi, but Rossi, however, finds Mamma Mia and Shifu. He's made it uh, all the way to Sunroom with the bomb, but he can't keep it going. It's a 2v3 to member, and Forrest, he's about to get dropped there by Rossi Ace. It's a 1v3 now. Rossi with 6 HP. He does Rossi have the Rossi. bomb, but uh, I don't think he can do this. Lucia finds the kill. Just like that, go figure. Up A3. It's actually, he he will be able to outdo the AWP at this point. So that glass cannon could come back to bite him in the end. Here we go. We'll see what Firestorm decides to do here. He's actually going garage of all places with that AWP. He gets burned alive and shot by Sheaf. That was a such a bad call. Such a bad call by Firestorm. Yeah. He went, he tried to get that out pick, but... Again, because he had a glass can, that scout was able to actually shoot him um, first, actually, because he had the angle as well. So the only valuable time that he, a scout can really beat an op, other than hitting a headshot, obviously, is if the if the if the the op is running a glass can. So it works out for him in the end. Maybe they can get that op picked up by the end of the round as well. But at this point, they're just going to try to play defensive and play the man advantage. Here we go, Reload Gaming. They're moving the bomb towards A main. It seems like an A execute, but Lucia gets shot from behind by Forblor. I was about to say, Forblor already made it all the way to checkers, and Lucia never noticed. Mamma Mia's hiding, still headshot, but he makes his way to the site. Now, Forblor not really pushing. Here's Forrest. He opens squeaky doors. Skills already found a kill. Rossi, however, responds with a kill onto Rossi Ace. Here's Forrest while making his way to the site. He finds skills. And there's the bomb being planted now by Relo Gaming. Shifu making his way with the Shadow Daggers towards A site, A main now. He's mollied off for now. But knowing Shifu, that would never stop him. None of them are looking towards A main, which might prove deadly. But they can definitely hear the footsteps. Here we go. Shifu finds the kill onto Forest. Gets the one onto Rossi as well. Yeah. You see, you see what I mean? He's, he does so well with those rifles. 
it's so weird that they put him as only the bank for the for the majority of the games he've been playing so far. I mean, he he's he seems like a good player. He seems like he he carries his weight in this in this team. That for for the most part, they just he just ends up dropping those rifles or and just sticks to the CZ. And a lot of the time, they have the economy to drop to him, but they don't, and he just sticks to the CZ. So I'm glad they're actually using him now as uh, either an AWP or a rifler. By the way, they, this round they're not even going to use Shippo as the AWP. They decided to switch it over to Rossi. So, they, they started it off already. Ooh, they opened the squeaky doors and Shifu was ready for them. Oh my god, Shifu got three there. That's Rossi, Firestorm uh, and Forest all dropping to Shifu. Tell me you like could have done that with a CZ from long distance. It, it was impossible. That would have been impossible to do with a Oof. Blitz. I feel like Blitz with the Deagle is scarier than Blitz with an AK, I swear. Yeah, he, he did win one of the most vital rounds on the T side of, of Train uh, with that Deagle as well. Uh, but So, really good with the Deagle. And now, now, again, they still have the, the loss bonus, so they're they're not that shy of buying, but Go Figure has so, my so many rounds on their, on their side that they're gonna have an easy time on T side if Regal doesn't at least try to get a few rounds on the board. Here we go, Rossi Ace with the op makes his way to the A side, but he changes his mind. It seems like he's gonna fall back towards Truck. Bear in mind, he's holding A side all alone from Truck. Finally, Shifu. Backs off for mid after he got that pick, but they know that someone's made their way towards highway. I believe that would be four blower who's about to push highway. And Rossi Ace finds him with the op from Z. Already Relo Gaming reduced to three members, but Blitz finds that shot onto skills. Here we go, Relo Gaming trying to take that A site by force and take it. They do. The bomb is about to get planted now by Rossi. That's a good smoke covering cross. There's the bomb plant going down. Rossi Ace, he's pushing up. He finds the kill onto Forest. We see Blitz hiding a fork like you right behind the pillar. But Shifu should know where he is. Yet somehow Blitz wins that against Shifu. But he can't win it against Rossi Ace in skills. They shut him down and just like that, go figure. 11-3. Relo Gaming not in a good spot at all. Uh, he, I think he got a 4k with that uh, with an off there. Hey, he drops it. Like, what? Um, Interesting. <laughs> I, I understand the reason why it's the last round. So uh, the rifle players would prefer having an AK than having an M4. And he either way he can buy an AWP for himself. So he's, he, since it's the last round, they had a lot of money. So they prioritized that AK uh, over the AWP. It, it, actually, the, it, wa it wasn't such a bad idea. It was, a, it was it was a good choice. I mean, if the if the rest of the team prefers using those right uh, those AKs over the M4s, wasn't a bad idea. Now Shifu, game challenge. He missed that off shot, but he didn't miss that one. He gets Forest. However, Rossi shuts him down. Here's Rossi Ace from Highway. He has to fall back all the way to truck. It seems like there's the Molly. Skills is in for a surprise if he peeks toxic. There we go. Rossi Ace gets the headshot onto four door. Rossi Jr. hoping to land a shot there, but nothing quite doing. Mamma Mia gets the kill. Skills finds Blitz as well, which means it's just Firestorm left versus three people. They know he's A main. They know exactly where he is. There he is. He's fully flashed down at 50 HP. About to get sandwiched from both sides. Lucia gets that final headshot. And go figure. End the first half. 12 to 3. What a dominating performance. Yeah. Especially uh, Shifu is doing really well this half, and Rossi, of course. But Rossi has been doing well since the first map as well. And Reload Gaming has actually been very lackluster this game. I mean, in the entire series so far. They tried to make a bit of a comeback on their CT side on train. But it, especially considering C it's so CT side train that they they should have at least guaranteed some of their rounds. But now... On, even on their on their uh, cash, they seem they seem so different from their game yesterday in the semifinal. This is the best round. Go figure. They're walking in aim and they don't want to make any noise. They might just catch Forblor off guard here. He does have backup in the form of Forest with him though. Go figure. They made their way outside of aim and there we go. Full sprint now. Forblor gets shot in the head by Mama Mia, but Forest responds with a headshot of his own. However, he gets overwhelmed by skills. And Lucia gets one 
as well. Here's skills are keeping you going with the kill onto Firestorm, but Rossi shuts him down with the USPS from long range. However, it's just Rossi alone versus three people. The bomb has been planted. He does have a USPS shirt. Sure. Oh my nice god, shot. that's a sexy headshot onto Shifu. Makes it a 1v2. He's actually going to go for this. And he can make it happen. Rossi, here we go. He gets the first headshot onto Rossi Ace, which means it's just Lucia left. But he can't keep it going. Lucia shuts him down there. He was on a 5 HP. It was an easy, easy kill for Lucia. Just like that. Go figure. Win the pistol round. Yeah. It was an easy kill for many of them, but none of them could get actually a shot in. Because Rossi just immediately shot him down as soon as he saw them. A really, really good attempt by Rossi to uh, try to bring that back that round, considering the rest of his team just completely faltered. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't get things through, and now they lost the pistol round, so now they need to win this force by. Because if they don't win this force by, they're going to have no money to for, for the next round. Most teams would, ha would be forced to eco, but at this point it'll be 14-3 and then they would have to try to get something they they can't just eco because it'll be a uh, game point and whole series point even that's a good molly from go figure forcing rossi away from checkers his skills making his way now checking vents just in case he gets shot from the back just to happen there firestorm from tree does some good damage, Dom, but he drops in the end to Shifu with a headshot with a CZ. Here's Blitz from behind. Lucio is ready for him. Gets that headshot onto Blitz. Gets another one as well onto Floor Forest. He was on top of Truck. He got one with a scout, but he can't keep it going. Skills lands that final kill. 14 3 the scoreline. Go figure. They're in a prime spot to end it here. Yeah, they have no money left either, Reload Gaming. This is, this is going to be tough. And. What's weird is that Reload Gaming does have the ability to uh, out duel Go Figure. Like if you saw them in the beginning of the train map, they they were actually winning all the aim duels against Go Figure. And since then, they, their confidence seems to have gone down so so far that they can't do anything. At this point, since they're losing so hard as well, they they've lost all of their confidence. They can't seem to win a single aim duel on any of the sides. Here we go, Rossi Ace. Let's that kill onto Firestorm, but Rossi and Force respond with two of their own. Here's Blitz keeping it going with the CZ. Somehow Rossi with a 5-7 gets the headshot onto skills as well. Go figure. Are they gonna lose this? Lucia, he gets the kill onto Rossi through the wall, but he's all alone versus three people. Sure, those three people don't quite have the weapon to deal with him. And he has over a minute left on the clock. He can take this as slow as he would like. Surprisingly enough, Relo Gaming can't pick up any good rifles off the ground. So they're going to have to make do with that CZ for Blower. Can he land that final shot onto Lucia? It seems like he cannot. Lucia is down to 9 HP and he wins that fight. Somehow Lucia stays alive with 9 HP. Blitz already down to 12. Forest, he's full HP, but he's all the way on A site. And Lucia seems to be heading towards that A site, it seems like. He made his yeah. way towards White Box. Unless he can hit this headshot immediately, it's it's uh, going to be tough. I think he's actually going to go through B, maybe from behind here. Ooh, he might just catch Reload Gaming off guard here. It's just Blitz on the B site with 12 HP. Lucia, he knows the timer is ticking down. He has to commit. It's now or never. If he decides to run here, he's going to give away his position. He needs to Ooh. get the... Oh! Oh, he spots him, and he shoots them through the wall. There's Lucia. He's about to plant the bomb. Forrest can't stop the bomb plant, but he can definitely go for this retake with that CZ. He grabs an MP9 off the ground as well. There's and he's Lucia With 9 HP, can Lucia defend this bomb plant? Can he actually make this 1v3 happen? He hears Forrest. He knows Forrest came out of tree. He knows Forrest is on the bomb. Lucia shoots oh. him in the back of the head, and he clutches it versus three people. My god! What a play, Lucia. There's only, only one word I can use to explain that round for Reload Gaming. Crap. No. <laughs> gutted. They must oh, be yeah. so gutted now. Like, 1v3, that was their round. and I mean, they had to win that. And now... Uh-oh. Ross is take, kind of taking that from Fade's book, I can see. Uh, taking that P90. 
He's confident. He's up 15-3. He can pick any weapon he'd feel like playing. I feel like he's it, doing that just to tease me, because uh, <laughs> if you watch the previous game... <laughs> oh my uh, god, Blitz is hiding in the smoke. Rossi Ace did not spot him. Oh. And Blitz gets a kill onto Mama Mia. Surprisingly enough, Rossi Ace still doesn't know where he is. Finally finds that kill. Took him a while, though. As he makes his way towards B site now. It's just Firestorm there. With the CZ, he gets one, but Lucia shuts him down. It's a two on two. Here's Rossi from heaven. He finds one, but Skills shoots him in the head. It's a 1v1 now. Forblore versus Skills. The bomb plant was interrupted, and Forblore clutches it for reload, reload gaming. They get the fourth point of the game. That was really close, but now they still don't have any money, really. So they're going to have a hard problem. And now they have so many rounds to work for and not to mention as soon as they start winning rounds go figure getting that loss bonus so they have no they have no fear whatsoever at this point and Rilo gaming has no margin for error if they make a single mistake that could cost them an entire series here we go go figure opting to force three members with AKs while two have to deal with deagles but honestly, if you're up 15-4, force every round, eventually you'll win the game. Here's Rossi. That was a great pop flash by his teammate. He gets Shifu and Mamma Mia. Lucia drops as well. Rossi somehow gets skills too. But here comes Rossi Ace. He finds Rossi and Forrest. But Floyd shuts him down. And that's another round for Reload. Yeah, I'd say just eco this point. And just work for the next round. They don't have much to fear at this point, so they still have 10 rounds to go for Reload Gaming. So, okay, they no fear, they're just going to force by... I have a feeling that go figure is just going to force by every single round. Yeah, force until you win. Force until you win, yeah. And Reload Gaming is going to constantly feel the pressure. I mean, sure, it, it'll it be worse for them if go figure had ops and AKs, but still, they're going to constantly feel the pressure. Constantly forced by us. Ooh, your skills with the CZ. He drops first, but Mamma Mia and Lucia get two kills to make up for it. Forrest from headshot. He lands the kills onto Mamma Mia and Rossi Ace, reducing it to a 2v3 only. Lucia already down to 7 HP. Shifu also low, only 47 HP. Lucia was looking the other way. That's an easy kill for Forrest, which means it's just Shifu left with 47 HP. Should be a pickup there for Forrest. There we go. Shoots him in the head. Relo Gaming grabbed their sixth point, and you have to wonder maybe this force until you win strategy isn't gonna work. Is it? The forcing all around? No, it shouldn't work. It's it's a, it's a weak buy, so you you take it with a grain of salt. It's basically uh, you're like telling yourself you have thirty to forty percent chance of winning that round, uh, just with minimal uh, purchase. So now it looks like they're gonna uh, smart up a bit here. They're gonna use, just gonna try to buy a few pistols and work for next round. Because it, although they have a huge round difference, uh, if they keep just force buying over and over and over, they're never gonna have a proper economy. And real gaming, before you know it, might even bring this to overtime. So they have to be careful, and they, that's just one of the reasons why they have to try to half by here and just work to the next round here we go rossi ace and skills make their way outside the squeaky they're already on the site there's only one guy on site that was four blur he gets overwhelmed by three members rossi ace gets that kill and the bomb has been planted Not like this. skills grabs the op and he's looking down highway but here we Not go like forest and blitz making their way from truck firestorm gets a kill with the famas there but skills shoots him down with the op forest responds however there's the op going down. Lucia picks it up instead. Forrest, he doesn't check sight. Mamma Mia from Quad actually gets that kill. He gets another one out to Firestorm. It's just Rossi left versus three oh. people. Lucia gets that final kill. Reload Gaming lose the series on an eco round of all things. Go figure. 16-6 to win map two. To win the final here at Bengaluru. Congratulations to Go Figure Congratulations. I feel really sorry for them, honestly. They, they decided to eco instead of force by everyone and they just win it on an eco.